didn't. I fell asleep. You'll never live it down. <laughs> never again will you ever, ever, ever. <laughs> Hello lifers, Clark and I are down at our beach house and we're in the middle of the seven day sugar detox in our community page. It's the weekend at the beach filled with sugar and other things that I normally wouldn't keep here. So it could be a recipe for disaster. I'm gonna kind of show you as we go through the weekend how I manage everything and just show you our other healthy habits. So this morning I was fasted, went to the gym, just came home breaking it with my superfood shake and we're gonna head out and go shopping. The house is just filled with sugar. Shake a little bit more. Back of Jolly Ranchers. These apple bars have sugar. We went to the grocery store last night and I picked up these two things to just kind of help crowd out a lesser quality choice. So I love my kombucha. I'm always trying different ones. I like the cayenne cleanse. That one's very burny. Just kind of warning you on that one. But there's only four grams of sugar per this whole bottle and I only drink about half. Something I like to do with kombucha is pour it into a fancy wine glass. And that way when Clark's drinking wine, I'm not tempted to have a sip or two. Obviously he's not doing the detox with me. And I also picked up this unsweetened chocolate almond breeze milk. And if you look at the, um, the macros per a fourth of this, which is more than I would drink, it's 40 calories, three grams of fat, two carbs, zero sugar, and one gram of protein. And this brand is Carrageenan free. So if I do crave something a little sweet, I'll do some of this with Stevia. So I told him how we're heading out to go shopping and I told them how last night I poured the kombucha instead of drinking wine. And something else happened last night, didn't it? What else happened last night on the couch? Do you remember what else happened? Yeah. yeah. Nothing. What else happened? Nothing. You jumped for no reason. Should I show them? Show what? No, it wasn't. I fell asleep. You'll never live it down. <laughs> never again will you ever, ever, ever <laughs> say that you don't fart in front of me. That was not me. This is my sleep. Why don't you tell him what you did? <laughs> tell him. <laughs> you tooted on my head. No, this is what happened. We were cuddling on the couch and I had my head resting on his bum and I said, don't fart on me. He said, I won't, I wouldn't do that to you. I said, don't, I don't trust you, don't fart on me. He said, I would never do that. Normally, I would say fruit juice is off the menu for sugar detoxing, but this is like such a special treat for me. So I'm gonna try to find one that's more veggie based, that might only have about one or two fruits in there. The root juice, sweet potato, carrot, beet, ginger. So that's definitely not gonna have much sugar in it. Now I'm not going to, but if I were gonna order a drink, this cucumber 
gin fizz, cucumber juice, gin, mint, fresh lime, seltzer, that sounds really good. So if you are gonna do alcohol and you're trying to limit your sugar, definitely getting a mixer that's seltzer, just not a heavy fruit juice. And at least I know with these juices, they're fresh made. Okay, so I got the root juice one. Taste it. It's not as sweet because it's not fruit based. I have no idea what it tastes like. You don't know, remember what it's in it? Thank you. So this is a grilled BLT with chicken and avocado and garlic aioli, which is kind of like a mayo sauce, sweet potato chips. And this is the quinoa salad with quinoa, tomatoes, olives, cucumbers, red onions, feta cheese, and balsamic vinaigrette on a bed of lettuce. So the health tip here is usually when we get a sandwich, we get a salad and then we split it. So just all of the heavy calories from the bread and the mayo and the chips. We really only gonna to to eat half that and then we get half the portion of the salad. So good. It is really good. They're like authentic. You know what's more? The Vatican crown. Mm -hmm. Put like a plant in the middle, or maybe like a, a centerpiece. See? Just think. This is what it all started on. What do you think is in this little box? Are you afraid to open it? I'm afraid to open it. Nothing! Look, you can't even escape it in an antique store. It's coconut water for eight ounces. It has 14 grams of sugar. So these caught my eye because of these little tiny little cookies. For six of them, it's nine grams of sugar. Probably not gonna get them, but this could be a good way to look at it too, is that if you have to have something sweet, if you get something that's small, if you can manage your portions, just having one or two of these, it's only gonna be a few grams of sugar and hopefully just satiate you with that sweet craving. Same idea, so these come in a bag, and again, you have to portion control, but they're these little squares. I think they're only probably about that big. For a third a cup, it's about four grams of sugar. So again, if you just have one or two of them to satiate that sweet craving, that's good. Look at the little pumpkin. He's so cute. Is this a koala? No, it's a panda bear. You're gonna break it. I can, huh? I can carry my lunch to work. Are you gonna be excited to go shopping for this kind of stuff? It's a girl it'll, it'll be a girl. 
Okay, lifers, Clark made this amazing meatloaf. Good job, babe. <laughs> and I put the sauce on the side, looked at the barbecue. I don't know what you guys put on your meatloaf. Comment below. I'd be curious. But this has this main ingredient, tomato puree, then sugar, then orange juice. So that's nice that there's like no artificial or even corn syrupy kind of process, but there is sugar. And when I look at the label, it's two tablespoons has eight grams. So per our sugar detox, I need to be under that. So I really just did maybe a tablespoon. So I'm probably about four grams of sugar here. Another win is Clark has wine and I have water. So we're back home and I know for me, when I used to have crazy sugar cravings, the evening time is usually when it would set in. Now I'm not really having any cravings right now, but it's well after dinner and I could go for a little snack. So I made myself this chocolate rice cake with just a little bit of peanut butter. And again, it's all about having backups. This rice cake you can get in different flavors. And these are nice because they stay fresh for a while. It has four grams of sugar, which again isn't much for a snack. All right, lifers, it's time to head home. Just to kind of recap how this weekend went, overall I think pretty well. I totally wasn't tempted and I have to attribute that to being accountable to you guys and definitely being part of this community. Knowing that I wanna put out these videos for you guys definitely holds me accountable, so I wanna thank you for that. I definitely appreciated going through this seven day sugar detox because it helped me realize how far I've come since my sugar addiction days back, you know, several years ago, if you would have told me that I would not be addicted to sugar the way that I was, I just wouldn't have believed you. So it definitely goes to show you that it is a journey and that it is a process and I have come so far. So if you're struggling with sugar, seriously, it's worth it to stick it out, but it is a journey and it is a process. If I could attribute it to several different things, number one, just flooding my body with the good stuff so that it's not craving, asking for something to make me feel good because if I'm fueling my body properly, it's just naturally gonna feel good. Also, finding healthier alternatives just to kind of wean out of that so that you can start to enjoy things that are not so sweet. I remember in nutrition school, they told us that carrots and red onions were a sweet vegetable. And I was like, I don't know about that. There's no sweet vegetables. And now for me, like carrots and hummus are really enjoyable. That's more of a savory snack for me, but maybe it sounds weird, but I'll just put carrots with a little bit of peanut butter. Weird for some people, but if not, seriously try it. That's a nice sweet snack for me. Don't get me wrong. Obviously I like chocolate and all that stuff, but a little bit goes a long way to satiate me. So I'm just really proud of how far I've come and working on releasing a lot of the patterns and thought processes and, and negative things that we hold on to, which is part of the life coaching that I do. You're distracting me. Comment below. I would love to know what is your addiction? Is it sugar? Is it alcohol? Is it savory foods? Is it chips? What's your like go-to must-have? And I'll definitely do some videos on some healthier alternatives to those. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel. Make sure to hit subscribe if you aren't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.